Yeah, it, right. It was about 93rd Street going back down the ramp at 95th Street now here. Uh, uh, the wrong way against traffic here. You can see traffic oncoming right there as it's going to be making a left-hand turn going towards 7th Avenue. A very, very dangerous situation here. Uh, there's the, uh, the, <laughs> that's the gas station where I buy my gas. Crossing uh, 7th Avenue, 95th Street uh, again. Uh, going westbound here, coming up to going to be going by uh, North Shore Hospital here on our on our left hand side as we go uh, westbound there again uh, now coming into uh, more of a uh, off the highways and on the surface streets here but again a vehicle that was being pursued by uh, officers from a couple of municipalities including uh, or we originally heard from Hialeah and also from uh, Miami Dade Police they put a description out of this vehicle saying that it was traveling at a high late rate of speed Come had uh, nearly down. struck several vehicles including a, a striking a, a police officer's vehicle they call that uh, a, a battery on a police officer when a, when a vehicle like that struck, strikes a vehicle when it's trying to flee so again uh, we're going to continue to monitor this uh, situation here it's coming up now on uh, let's see this is going to be uh, right off of uh, Central Miami Central uh, Senior High School going past that westbound again on 95th Street coming up that would so that would be 17th Avenue or 22nd, 22nd Avenue next intersection is going to be 27th Avenue and I believe the driver is going to go probably go straight through that intersection let's we'll continue to follow this obviously for you unknown how many people are in that vehicle but again police wanted to stop this vehicle it had come back as listed as stolen police officer spotted it tried to stop it and it fled so we now know that the uh, that we now understand that the uh, uh, police department uh, Miami Dade has launched one of their helicopters they are in this area now trying to pick up this uh, uh, vehicle and they'll be guiding the ground uh, units uh, to apprehend the suspect of this vehicle now who's made some pretty dangerous moves here as he continues to blow through traffic lights here now uh, southbound on 27th Avenue this vehicle is now southbound from 95th Street on 27 Avenue um, let's see where we're gonna where we're gonna come into any traffic here there's no traffic uh, right now going southbound in front of just a couple of vehicles here but he's been zipping around vehicles on either side again uh, we warn viewers at home that this is a live uh, broadcast uh, okay the Metro helicopter I'm looking out my window now I can see him out my window and he's going to be uh, he's now tracking the vehicle. I'll bring the camera back here wide enough just so we can see if we can get him in the picture too here. Right here at this intersection, top of the screen there, you'll see the helicopter as he goes by right there. So the vehicle is now across the intersection here at 71st Street and is still southbound on 27th Avenue. And uh, the, the, the police uh, chopper there is up keeping an eye on it and trying to direct uh, the ground assets to uh, take this person into custody. We continue to watch uh, this ve uh, vehicle as it tries to flee and elude police here southbound 27th avenue our next intersection i'm sorry now our next intersection is going to be 79th street i misspoke earlier it's turned off now and going into a uh a, a shopping center parking lot uh yeah thanks joe uh there, there it's a it's place is a shopping center i'm look, trying to get a name for you but i can't write it now you can see the vehicle here uh, just past the dollar tree and the flea market here 27th Avenue and 79th Street. Again, a vehicle wanted by police, uh, uh, apparently reported stolen a little earlier today. It was at least on what they call the Bolo board. That's to be on the lookout for things. When things are stolen like that, uh, they, re they report that information to all the agencies in Dade and Broward County every day. They kind of update that. Again, now, 79 and 27 westbound. 79th Street, 27. There's the uh, uh, Metro Rail uh, tracks there. That go westbound in towards Hialeah. So, again, still the the police officers are uh, police chopper is following it. Almost strikes that vehicle right there at uh, 31st Avenue. Now up on the sidewalk, riding up on the sidewalk. Very dangerous situation here uh, for both the, the vehicular traffic and for pedestrians that would be in this area crossing the roadways. Now again, we've got a vehicle that's uh, blocking it right now as it continues. To work its way westbound we're coming up to the warehouse districts that are on the east side of hialeah as we cross over into hialeah and we can hear on the radio right now that they are asking for assistance from the hialeah police department uh asking them to put some assets out here to uh, try to get this vehicle to to pull over so the vehicle now okay, up on the on the grass here underneath the metro uh rail uh overhead uh lanes there for the for the train that's uh runs on that now it's making a turn to go southbound 
and south, south, southbound now in Hialeah. We are now in Hialeah. I can see uh, they're, they're saying it's southbound on 37 is what I'm being told. Southbound on 37 Avenue. There's a helicopter right on the left-hand side of the screen there uh, uh, running uh, along with it now, giving out information to police officers about trying to bring uh, the subject of this vehicle, the driver of this vehicle, and whoever else might be inside uh, to get him to stop that vehicle. Continue to follow it as it goes southbound at 7-9 and um, now being told uh, about 3-3. 3-3 Avenue may run out of some real estate here pretty soon because some of these roads run into dead ends as you get into this highly area where all these warehouses are. But uh, approaching 69th Street now, now told 67th Street, it continues. Yeah, 37 and 62 is the information we're getting. That that's where this vehicle is. Comes up on slower traffic here, going into the wrong lanes. Obviously, very dangerous maneuvers here, putting not only themselves but other uh, the civilians that are driving in this area in danger. So we're going to continue to follow uh, the vehicle. This uh, vehicle described as a uh, 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 black Dodge pickup truck that had, had been jacked up, had uh, heavy springs, and lifts, lifts the thing, the vehicle off of the wheels there. Uh, you can see the black uh, exhaust smoke. It's uh, very clearly defined here as it now is going eastbound. And they're uh, about to put out information. Three, uh, lost control there, going off the roadway there, nearly hits a parked vehicle. Now back on the roadway. Again, we'll bring the camera out just a little ways to show you a little better uh, the uh, the neighborhood that we're in. It's mostly, most of this area right here, are, uh, it's either residential on one side and, and warehouse on the other. Oh, just missed that vehicle right there at that intersection. That's very dangerous, as we've indicated several times now, uh, hoping that this comes to an end peaceably, peacefully, but uh, we're just going to continue to follow it. Go ahead. There we go. There's your crash. There's your crash right there. Uh, nearly, uh, well, st obviously struck the railroad crossing there. We've got a guy that's jumped out now. He's going to be fleeing into this area here. They're going to put a perimeter up. We're going to continue to watch as best we can here as it goes through this area that looks like I uh, it's all pallets here, up. all uh, wooden pallets, uh, either either uh, oh, yeah. a place where they store them or a place where they manufacture them. But right now we saw the last place we saw this uh, suspect was uh, there he goes. Now he's running inside the building. So now They'll put a perimeter up around the, this building here. Going to keep an eye, just go widen the camera back out a little bit. But as you were, just as you were saying, Lynn, there, a, obviously a very a dangerous, uh, dangerous situation here. Fortunately for uh, everybody else, he uh, did not. We got a police officer now running here through the through the back area. But we're going to bring the camera out a little wider here. If you guys spot him, you know, just you holler too and let us know. But we're looking here. Uh, you see here. Right, you can see. Right. 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 Let me show you, Lynn, here, the top and bottom. And Jeff, the Lynn and bottom, he's telling that he's behind the pallets here. So what we've got is we've got all the police officers at the bottom of the screen, and then you'll see the police helicopter is right there at the top of the screen. I don't know if you can make it out there, but he's right at the top of the screen on the far side, which would be the north side of the railroad tracks. They're watching, waiting for somebody to come out. What they'll do now is if they've secured this area, they'll get a, a couple of canine officers with their dogs and they'll bring those dogs in here and they'll go right to them. They'll go right to that area. But again, uh, this all happening. Uh, let me see here. There's OK, I can give you a good, a pretty good locator here. I'm going to bring out, bring the camera back out just one more time here until we get the takedown. If we do get a takedown, that's the Walmart upper right hand corner, 27th Avenue, uh, right off of 27th Avenue. Uh, I'm sorry, 37th Avenue and 79th Street. So again, the bailout occurred right here after this vehicle struck the wall, uh, struck the uh, pole, the uh, traffic control light for the railroad tracks. You saw the uh, uh, driver bail out of the vehicle. Appears to be the only person that was in it. To the left. Here we go. Yeah, it's an officer. It's an officer. But okay, uh, we appreciate that. We we'll use all the help we can get up here. Um, we're still just waiting right now. He's obviously, or it appears that he would, I'd say we, he's hiding inside that uh, warehouse there uh, where all the pallets are. We still have, I can look out, looking straight down my window, and I can see Florida Highway Patrol. I see county vehicles, more vehicles pulling up here uh, to assist in uh, trying to locate the driver of this vehicle. In the meantime, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, 
helicopter from Miami Dade Police Stand Sentinel there uh, on the north side of the railroad tracks here. Again, I'm going to give you the address. I put it at 75th Street between 37th and 39th Avenue. That's uh, the warehouse there. And uh, we're keeping the camera medium to wide because if uh, someone uh, uh, runs in either direction out on the corners there, we want to make sure that we provide you with those pictures and we keep track of it. Yes, uh, initially the call went out for a 315 where the uh, it's a, that's a call that means an officer needs assistance on an emergency basis and, and you could hear in the officer's voice uh, him describing the truck and saying that the vehicle had fled from him. Uh, he, apparently other units in the area and maybe that particular officer too got back in their car and, and there was a pursuit that started. I, I don't have the exact origin of the or location where it started, but I, I believe that there were uh, Hialeah and Miami Lakes units from the county that were involved in it originally, uh, where the vehicle was um, off of 57th Avenue and 154th Street. The, the vehicle ended up coming out onto the Palmetto at the Grattany and went northbound on the Palmetto Expressway and then around that big curb and they had actually had units set up at 67th Avenue waiting for it to go by and apparently uh, for some reason or another the ground units either arriving maybe the maybe the timetable was uh, you know 40 seconds off or 50 seconds off but they were able to get by and not uh, and uh, the driver was able to get by in that vehicle and it wasn't until uh, the vehicles uh, popped up as we were coming southbound at the, the Palmetto Expressway to turn on I-95. That's when we broke into program and you saw the, uh, that vehicle just driving so erratically and so fast on I-95 there, putting uh, everybody pretty much all that afternoon rush hour traffic, or the, yeah, I guess the rush hour started, rush hour traffic uh, at risk there. And it ended up all the way down here, down the I-95. Um, you saw that uh, illegal U-turn there on the I-95 and onto the uh, exit ramp at 95th Street and then westbound on 95th Street, southbound on 27th Avenue, and then all the zigzagging down here until he struck it. Go ahead. Okay. There you go. They've got him. Very good. Thank you, guys. I was, I was yapping so much I wasn't concentrating on that. There you go. There's their suspect in custody. Yeah, it's just several minutes. So you've got the guy in custody. The vehicle is uh, stopped. It's going to obviously they got to call the railroad uh, folks to come out here and uh, replace that uh, that crossing uh, signal there. But you do have a suspect in custody Metro, taking the hat off of now, frisking him, checking him out, making sure he has no weapons or any uh, per, uh, take his personal effects there. And I guarantee you they're going to be processing him and taking him into custody. That's our story here in Skyforce. We're going to throw it back to you guys. One more time.